Hey guys and welcome back. I got 10 more questions for the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB just for you. So go ahead and stick around all the way to the end to see these 10 solutions. For number 11, it says that we have a 25 ounce solution that's 20% alcohol, 50 ounces of water are added, what percent of the solution is now alcohol? First off, how much alcohol was in this original solution? 20% of the 25. Well, 20% is just 10% plus 10%, 10% you can find easily by moving the decimal place over one. So 2.5 times 2 says that our original had 5 ounces of alcohol. Well, now we added 50 to that 25, so we have a total of 75 ounces now, and 5 Five of those ounces are alcohol. So what is 5 out of 75? Well, that reduces to 1 over 15, and that, as a decimal, is 0 .06 repeated, also known as 6 and 2 thirds. Answer A. So for number 12, we have five blue pens, we have six black pens, and four red pens. Altogether, that gives us 15 pens. And they want to know the probability that we pull out one pen and it's red or black. Or means that it could be either red or black, and you add those two together whenever you're dealing with an or. So that means I'm going to do 6 plus 4 gives me 10 out of the 15 would be our probability here. So 10 over 15 reduces to 2 over 3 when you divide both top and bottom by 5. So our answer is A. For question 13, we're starting with a population of X, and then X is going to go ahead and increase by 100% in the first 10 years. So that means essentially we're doubling it, so we're going to be at 2X now. In the next 10 years, it only increases by 50%. So if we increase this guy by 50%, that means half of what this is would be added back to it. Well, half of what this is would just be another X, so 2X plus that X is going to mean we're ending at 3X. And they want to know what percent increase took us from here to here. Well, if we're going for x to 3x, then we went ahead and increased by 2x there, which would also be known as 200%. Answer D. You get paid $200 for working 40 hours a week. After those 40 hours, you get paid time and a half. Now, they want to know how many hours you would have to work to get to $230. Well, first off, 200 divided by 40 is 5, meaning they're only making $5 an hour. So from there, you need to think, all right, well, 200 is the first 40, so we're at least 40 hours in. Now, what do we need to get to get an additional 30? Well, I know that for every two hours now at time and a half past the 40, for every two hours, I'm going to be making 10 plus half of that. So that would be another five. So that's going to be 15. Well, $15 twice gives me that 30. So instead of working two hours, we're going to need to work four. So 40 plus the four gives me 44 hours for answer B. 50% of X is 150. What's 75% of X? Well, if it's 50% of a number is 150, then that number is 300. So what's 75% of 300? Well, that would be halfway between 150 and 300. That would be 75 above this guy, because that's splitting it in half. So 150 plus 75 is 225. Our answer here is A. So it says the total fare for two adults and three children for an excursion boat is $14, and it says children are one half the price of adults, so what's an adult fare? So the way I'm going to do this is breaking down using a variable x. I'm going to say that a child's ticket is x. That means that we have three children, so that would be three, plus two adults. Now remember, these are double what those are because they're half of that. So that means that for each one of these, it would count as two x's. So in this case, that means we have four x because we have two adults. That means we have a total of 7x, and that's equal to $14. If I divide both sides by 7, that gives me x equals $2. That's a child's ticket, so an adult would be double that, which would be $4, which is answer D. So prime factorization means you break down all numbers that divide this guy until you get down to the like basics that can't be divided any further. So indeed, this A is a good starting point of 2 times 70. But then that 70 can continue to split to 5 times 14, and that 14 can continue to split to 2 times 7. So looking all together here, we have 2, 2, 5, and 7. So looking at the answers, that would be answer C. So we got a father that charges $12 an hour, a son that charges $6 an hour. They want to know how many hours they work together if the total bill was $108. So looking at this, the first thing we want to do is say that a son is working for X amount of hours. He's getting paid six um, dollars for that, but this guy gets double that. So for the father, I'm going to add double that amount, which is going to be 2x here. So that's going to end up being a total of 3x, and that's going to be equal to that 108. Now, if I do divide 
multiplied both sides by that 3, it's going to end up giving me that x is equal to 36. That's how much money the son is making, because he was the 1x. So if he's making a total of $36, that means, divide that by 6, he worked a total of 6 hours, which means the father also worked 6 hours. So our answer here is A. Why is there an exclamation point in a math equation? It's just because it means the word factorial. So if you ever see an explanation point, what you do is you take the number in front of that and multiply it by every number underneath it until you get down to 1. So this is really just 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 4 times 3 is 12, times another 2 is 24, and the 1 will keep it the same. So our final answer here is C, 24. So you're looking at two different garages here, A and B. You're going to be there for five hours. Now for garage A, for that first hour, is going to charge eight seventy-five, and then for the next four hours, it's going to be one twenty-five each. So four times that one twenty-five. Likewise, down here for B, we're going to be starting at five fifty for that first hour, plus the other four hours at two fifty each. So now let's go ahead and multiply these through. Four times the one twenty five is going to give me a total of five. When I add five to that eight seventy five, that's going to end up giving me thirteen seventy five. Then down here, I'm looking at. 4 times the 2.5, which is 10. 10 plus the 550 is going to give me 1550. So what's the difference between these two? Well, that difference is going to end up being 175, option B. Don't stop there. That was only 10 questions of this portion of this test. Remember, I have videos on the mathematical knowledge portion, on the arithmetic reasoning, and even on the word knowledge portion of this test. So go ahead and check out my channel and see what other videos you can find to help you with your next attempt at the ASVAB.